Hello friends, this video on light part 2 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So now that we have got quite a bit introduction about light, let us see what is light. So light is, as I said, light is that thing which enables us to see anything. It is actually a form of energy which enables us to th see things around us. Now this is very important to know that light is also a form of energy just like heat. Now there are certain properties associated with light and the first important property is that light always travels along a straight path. So you can always see light traveling in straight paths. So whether you talk about the sun rays which come from the sun to the earth. So if you look at those rays they are actually straight lines. Now we really do not get to see them very evidently but if you try to see it maybe sunlight coming inside a dark room through a tiny hole. So you will be able Able to see that through that tiny hole a straight line of light is entering the room so it shows that light is traveling along a straight path speed of light is a high number and it is approximately 3 into 10 to the power 8 meter per second so this is the like kind of a great speed so light travels with the speed so as I said, light travels along a straight path. So what we will do is we will quickly perform a very simple experiment to see or to prove that how light travels along a straight path. So for this, what you can do is maybe you can take some uh, three to four playing cards and you make holes at the center of each of them. And then you arrange them in such a way that the holes are like, they are, all the holes are lying along a straight line. So as you can see here, you see all the holes are like almost in a straight line. So now you take a laser light and switch it on. Now, as I've mentioned before that from a laser light, you do not get a scattered light. Instead, you get a well concentrated straight beam of light. So you will be able to see that the light passes through the holes on all the cardboards and finally reaches the screen. So on the screen, you will be able to find some sort of image. So why could you see this image here? Because the light from the laser could reach on the screen. Now, what you do is, you just move one card in such a way that here, the whole of the card has, is, has shifted to in the downward direction. So now in this case, what happens? Now I said that light always travels in a straight line. Now had light been bending, and not traveling in a straight line in that case light could have just moved down and passed through this hole but light didn't do that instead it traveled similarly straight but since here it got blocked so therefore no image was formed on the screen in fact light didn't go beyond card number two that's because the path is blocked so this shows that there is no op I mean, there is no such concept where light can move as it, as it likes. So light always moves along a straight path. So now when we talk about light, there are a lot of applications where we make use of light. Now as the only thing which I have discussed so far is light helps us to see things around us. Besides that, it also helps us to see our image in the mirror. Now, when we stand in front of the mirror, what happens? We are able to see ourselves in, with, on the other side of the mirror, right? So how are we able to see us? So again, there also it is due to the property of light. The spectacles which we use, now, sometimes you would have seen your grandparents or even your parents who have difficulty in seeing things. Maybe either uh, they have problem in seeing the distant objects clearly or in seeing objects which are close by clearly. So, what do these people do? They wear a spectacles. So, the spectacles have a lens which helps to correct their vision. So, how the lens works? So, again, there also it is due to property of light. You think you talk about the rear view mirror in your inside your car. Uh, how again there also the image is being seen due to the, a property of light. You talk about telescopes, microscope, the camera lenses. So all of them make use of various properties of light like reflection, refraction and so on. Now, you would have observed such magical phenomena like when you put a pencil inside water, the pencil appears to be bent, but you know that the pencil is straight. So how that happens? So in each of these observations, 
In fact, the formation of rainbow, the rainbow looks so beautiful and it is generally seen on a rainy day after the rains or before the rains. So how is a rainbow formed? Again, light has a very important role to play in the formation of rainbow. So each of these examples or each of these instances which we which I am talking about on, in this slide, they are all due to one or the other property of light. So here in this lesson, we are going to talk about a few basic properties of light and we will see that how that helps us to see our image in the mirror or how it helps in the rainbow formation or how it works in the lenses of uh, spectacles or the rear view mirrors in the cars. So these are some of the things which we will cover in this lesson. Now before we go ahead with the properties of light, let us first talk about a ray of light because ray of light is a term which we will be using very often hereafter. So, Ray of light is a straight line path of light. So whenever we talk about ray of light, it is a single straight line path of light. It denotes uh, the direction in which the light is moving. Instead, when we say beam of light, it actually means a bunch of rays of light. So when you actually have too many rays of light together, so all of them together forms a beam of light. So basically a beam of light is a collective term and it is like a more uh, stronger term with a stronger intensity. So that's how we differentiate between ray of light and beam of light. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.